my name is Roger Kuntz from Grainfield, Kansas, and I farm in this area in Gove County and have enjoyed agriculture as a way of life. Background wise, I started here, born in 53, moved three miles to my uncle's farm, and I've enjoyed farming ever since. To help pay for the farm, I started working at a local factory called Flex King, and at this factory, I found that my habit of daydreaming in grade school and high school paid off as I became a big part of research and development, as well as head of their service department. So that work entwined me even further into agriculture and farming. That career would take me then from Canada to Australia, but primarily here in the Midwest with five trips to Australia fixing Flex King undercutters. The career at Flex King was very good and it was educational and we were able to find out that the pains of complexity go along with large farming operations. So a retreat from that was to just have this small situation here with older antique farm equipment. I call it antique, but it's still functional. It does our job. The joy of simplicity just outweighs so many other dimensions that pursuing this goal of simplicity, harmony with nature has led me into going to organic with the farming. So even though I've walked shoulder to shoulder with the people of the 70s who drove the big buds, the versatile tractors, etc. The organic small cottage farm is a fit for me to unwind and to also train apprentices. The joy of this time of year is harvest and out on the acres out here we have planted wheat and we're anxious to cut it and today's journey is with a 1958 Gleaner Combine that's currently getting a little help from my high schoolers getting a fuel pump put on it. Out here where I do not want to spray any and I need complete coverage to prevent weeds from taking over I plant a very old variety maybe a 60 year old variety the varieties of Scout, Eagle, Turkey are the wheat varieties I plant, and those were available in the 60s. So this wheat gets extremely tall. We'll be standing out in it. It'll be chest high, but it blocks the ground, shades the ground, protects it from weed growth, and that's how we get away from the spray treatments on wheat, because we gotta stay away from that to be an organic farmer. Now we're fixed. Thank you, Cody and Jesse. These guys came along and fixed the combine. <laughs> With their, I need you to show me how you did it so we can keep this going again. <laughs> All right. The name of this combine, by the way, is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And when you sing the song, it cuts faster. Did you know that? <laughs> Did we have to call a service company to help us out? Did we have to call, hook up a computer to fix this combine? No, it took a pliers and a piece of bailing wire. I want to invite people that have missed out on the joy of being small, the joy of hobby farming, the joy of one author wrote, go simple, go small, go now. We enjoy the sweat that comes off our brow, we sleep good at night, and the, the toil and the uh, non-high-tech world has fit us very well and has kept us busier than we can possibly keep up with. We 
plan to go as long as we can. We love the land. We plan to stay here just as long as we can and embrace it, take care of it, and to farm it in a way that will pass it on to my grandchildren and their children.